The following guide will show you how to install the Hayward Aquarite salt generator. Before starting, please make sure that there is no power going to your pool pump. The first thing we did was mark off the area where we were going to install the control box. We then pre-drilled holes and mounted the control box. Next we are going to install the salt cell. The flow meter shown here is attached to the salt cell. The flow meter is attached after the salt cell and the arrow will indicate the flow of the water. To install the salt cell we will need to cut into our existing plumbing. The salt cell will need to be installed after the pump and filter and heater if you have one. In our case we are working with a heater. We installed a check valve after the heater to prevent chemicals from backflowing into the heater or filter. Here we are with the final part of the plumbing for the salt cell. Plumbing will vary quite a bit for each pool but please make sure it's installed after the pump, filter and heater. After waiting for the plumbing glue to dry, we went ahead and turned the pump on. We wanted to check for any leaks that were coming from the new plumbing. After we ensured there was no leaks, we turned the pump back off. Next we did the electrical to the control box. The panel was held in with two screws which we removed and took off the panel. Please note, electrical will vary per pool. In our case, we are hooking in the electrical of the T104 Intermatic Timer. Here we are removing the needed knockouts to run the wire into the control box. We next thread a half inch MPT terminal adapter into the knockout of the control box. We installed a junction box so the wiring can go from the T104 to both the pump and the Aquarite control box. Wiring is then ran from the T104 to the junction box and into the Aquarite control panel. To hook in the proper wires, please use a schematic on the side of the control panel. Please note that the Aquarite is manufactured and shipped for a 240 volt. Once the wiring is complete, we turn the power back on to the pump and the Aquarite. We next looked into the owner's manual to make sure that our Aquarite was set to the correct T cell. There is a sequence that you will need to follow, but please consult the owner's manual. We then hooked the salt cell up to the control box. Then we screwed the cover back onto the control panel. We next added salt to the swimming pool. The amount of salt you add will vary depending on the gallon size of your swimming pool. Please consult the salt table that's located in the owner's manual. An ideal salt level is 2700 to 3400 parts per million. Allow your pump to run and the salt to mix into your swimming pool. After the salt is properly mixed, you can go ahead and turn the salt generator on. The two green lights will indicate that it is working, and the knob will allow you to add proper chlorine into your swimming pool.